This is what makes the California primary matter, the Pacific Ocean. Californians are important because there are so many of them, and that's because they are constantly reinforced. The Pacific pulls Americans westward and then stops them going further westward. It is both a lure and a limit to migration. The coast of California, from Oregon to the Mexican border, is 800 miles long. Inland is a state more extensive than Germany, with 20 million people in it, more than in any other state of the Union. Every day, 1,300 new Californians arrive, carrying their votes on their backs. They bring their old attitudes, too, which makes Californians the voters that best represent the mind of all 50 states. When they first started coming 120 years ago, they were drawn by a more prosaic appetite for gold and sand. That was the gold rush. After that came the market gardening rush, when people found that California could grow pretty well anything. And the oil rush, there are oil pumps within 100 yards of the beach. And the building rush, which continues. And the jobs rush, especially in aerospace and electronics. And the education rush, since the higher learning in California is a vast industry which provides the scientific base for other industries. The whole amounting to an almost gadarene rush, ending at the water's edge. California has had its share of migrants from the rural south and Mexico who came poor and have not grown rich. In Watts, the Los Angeles suburb where rioting as a technique of urban renewal was invented three years ago, Senator McCarthy moved among some of them at a picnic in a park. He won't get more than a quarter of their votes. But his confessed appeal is to educated, which mainly means prosperous people, of whom there are plenty in California. And something of the air of a man who began a holy war for the voters' sake and not his own still hangs about him. He can lose a battle and survive. He's done it before. Not so Senator Kennedy. The watchers at his door all know that if he loses again in California, as he did in Oregon, nothing can save him. Not the children who offer him their toys. Not the golden girls who nurse the press for him. Not the motorcycle outriders hired from a Los Angeles firm of undertakers. Not Freckles, the ultimate political animal. Not even Mrs. Ethel Kennedy, who had a lot to do with his decision to try for the presidency this time instead of next. California is crucial, not only because its size gives it a huge delegation to the convention in late August where the Democratic candidate will at last be chosen, but also because all those migrants make it inescapably typical. If Senator Kennedy can't win in California, he almost certainly can't win in America, and his party would have very little reason for preferring him as their candidate to Vice President Humphrey or Senator McCarthy.